Hey guys, you're watching Zuman and Ellie. My name is AJ, and we are back on a new series. This is a series that I was really excited about for the last few days. I've been wanting to do it for a long time, I just haven't had the chance to. I haven't had the space on the channel, but some space has come up, and we're able to do it, and I'm really, really excited. I have just spilled apple and raspberry uh, water all down my top, so uh, my, my top's a little bit wet at the moment, so it's a little bit disgusting, but hopefully it'll dry by the end of the episode. Um, what I've done is just, just stuck a, a glowstone block underneath me at spawn, so I know exactly where spawn is. And uh, this is going to be a game show. We're going to call it Let's Build a Game Show uh, series. We've got the Let's Build a Hunger Games. Well, we've done the Let's Build a Hunger Games. We've currently got the Let's Build a City. And now we're starting Let's Build a Game Show. And it's going to sort of be, I don't know the best way to describe it. Like, uh, you know, Japanese game shows. I don't know if you've ever seen Takeshi's Castle or Ninja Warrior uh, and stuff like that. And it's sort of going to be a crazy game show with all different rounds. And I want you guys to comment in the section below. Comment in the section below? Comment in the comment section below of any sort of rounds or, or, or games that you think we should play. Uh, they're going to have to be short games, like short little tiny mini games. Like, for example, the first one that we're going to do today is going to be a quiz show sort of one. Like, first one to five questions right wins the point for that round. And we can have a boat race round where there's, there's sort of a boat assault course. Um, we can have some sort of maze one, we can have, um, I don't know, something involving cactuses or something like a, a death arena, like a fighting arena. And each each round you get a point. Let's say we have ten different rounds. Whoever has the most points at the end of the ten rounds wins. I've got hiccups as well, would you believe it? So, let's get some quartz, because uh, I think quartz is a nice clean white block. I was thinking for colour coding on this, I was thinking quartz is a, is a really nice block, and then we can accent it with a different coloured wool, depending on the room. So, like, we might use red wool for this first room, we might use orange wool for the second room, uh, and so on and so forth. So, if this is going to be the spawn point, I think we should have the first room, the first round at spawn so we don't actually have to walk anywhere. I don't think there's any point having a spawn area and then we have to sort of walk across to the first round. There's no point in that. We might as well start where we're going to start. So let's have something like this as a little sort of podium. Um, I don't know, something like... We could have them close together or we could have them further apart. Let's have them nice and close together like this. So this is where our two players are going to start. Let's get a redstone lamp in between. And then let's get some... Boop, 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 boop. There we go. So they can stand on here. Ah. Hmm. No, I don't like that. I think we need to move them slightly further apart, I think. Yeah, I don't like how it was sort of an even number. I don't like even numbers, as you know. Take those away. And let's do another one right here. Like so. Now, the reason I'm using redstone lamps uh, is quite a good reason. I've done a little tiny bit of testing, really not much at all. Most of the stuff that we're going to do on this series is sort of going to be spur of the moment sort of style. Um, but here's our contestant's buzzer. So when we ask a question, they have to answer the question. But first, they have to hit the buzzer so I know who comes first. And that will light up the light, like so. And we'll be able to see who lights up first. Now, in the very rare event that the two contestants are super close together, we should still be able to tell. And we can test this by having, uh, like, two redstone lamps. Let's just do it like this. And let's get some redstone stuff. A redstone repeater and some redstone. And we bring the redstone cable around like this with a redstone repeater of one tick. So the shortest amount of delay that we can possibly put into Minecraft, a one tick delay. And if we push the button now, we can see that this light still comes on before that light. Can you see that? Boop, boop. It's very, very slight, but I think we're still going to be able to tell. So even if the contestants are super, super quick, uh, we should still be able to tell who shows up first. And the reason why I want to do this series, by the way, is so once it's done, maybe we can get a few of you guys, a few subscribers, or even some YouTubers to come and play it. And uh, I think that would be really, really fun to do. So we've got our buzzers set up, which is nice and simple to do. Now we need to work out a scoring system, which is a little bit more complicated. And I think for now we're going to do five questions. So we're going to need five pistons. Uh, not sticky pistons, just normal pistons. And uh, this redstone here isn't going to be pretty. <laughs> It's not going to be pretty at all, but it is going to get the job done. So uh, we're going to have a row of five uh, blocks with five pistons like so. And underneath it, we're going to have something along the lines of this. And this is going to use sand. 
It's going to be quite odd looking, but it, it should be fine, <laughs> hopefully. Okay, so that's going to go along there. And our redstone is going to go along the top here to fire the pistons out. And uh, we're going to need sand on here, but the way it's going to work is underneath here. Let's get some redstone stuff, some redstone torches. We can cover the sticky pistons, we don't need those. So we're going to have some blocks here like this. We can put a redstone torch here, a redstone repeater here, a block here, and then a repeater here. And now when we get some sand... And we drop this sand down from up here. So let's just get a button on here for now. We push this button. The sand's going to fall down. And once it goes over that position, it uh, sent the output out. So we can do this another four times here. It's a little bit complicated for me to sort of explain. But it's easy if I just show you. So let's just build it. And if you guys are, I'm, I'm showing you how to build this. So if you want to build this sort of game show along with me. Or make up your own round so you can, you can do it. In fact, let's just use redstone. Uh, it's a little bit easier. Like this. Redstone down here. Now, I sort of know my redstone, but I don't like sort of compacting my redstone as much as it can possibly be. I sort of like having it a little bit more open so you guys can see uh, the workings of it. Now, if we do it like this, all five lights are going to come on at the same time. So, uh, out the way, pig. So, if we have one here, and then we drop this one down, and then we drop that one down one more, and then we drop that one down... One more, and then this one right down to bedrock. And now we've got this sort of staircase looking thing. Now if we put sand on top in a sort of mirrored fashion, like so. Hopefully now, each time we press the button, a different light will come on. So let's, um, we can be able to see from the uh, repeaters here. So if you push the button once, we get one light come on. And the sand has filled up. And now when we press it again, the sand's going to drop onto that one. We get the second light come up, and the third light come up, and the fourth light come up, and finally the fifth light. And uh, although th at the moment it's not resettable, I probably could make this resettable if we wanted to, but on uh, any map, whenever you play a Hunger Games or anything, you never save the map once you finish, do you? You always just move on, you quit without saving, and then you can load it up again. So we don't really need a reset uh, if it's not needed. Um, but it's easy to reset by hand anyway, just like so. Uh, sand is very, very easy to break. So now uh, we need two of these, obviously one for one side and one for the other side. And we need a redstone line that comes round to wherever the host is going to stand, or not the host, or wherever the... What would, what would you call the game show? Presenter, yeah. The presenter. And we can have one button on the left for the guy who gets the question on the left, correct? And a button on the right for the one on the right. So we're going to need two of those, and we're going to need some sort of... Uh, scoring lights. So maybe we could do it. Let's get some quartz blocks back. That's snow. I always do that. I always go for the snow. So let's have something like like this. We can have one, two, three, four, five, and have a vertical one. And each time we get a, um, a question right, they get closer and closer to the top. So obviously our first link here is going to have to run to the bottom. Obviously I could have built this closer. I probably will build this <laughs> a little bit closer. Uh, but this is just sort of for demonstration purposes. So we could run a lead over to here. I know this is very, very messy redstone. And uh, you guys that like your redstone are going to be very, very unimpressed by this, this messiness. Um, but now when we push the button, we're going to get that first light come on. Oops. <laughs> We're going to get our first light come on. Our first light come on. There we go. <laughs> Third time lucky. Okay, and you can do this another five times. So uh, let me just duplicate this. Another one there, and I'll move this one closer as well. Uh, and do another scoreboard. And uh, I'll hook it up, and then I'll show you how I've hooked it up uh, afterwards. So I should be right back. Alright, so I've got two now. And I've hooked that one up. And uh, I'm just going to show you how, ho how I hooked it up uh, on this side, uh, if you guys can't do it. I know some of you are sort of uh, good at redstone, I know some of you are sort of average, I know some of you can't really do it at all and you need a lot of help. And uh, I want to be able to help you as much as I can 
in doing this. So what we're going to do is, the first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to take out some of these repeaters and make them into redstone dust. This is just for efficiency more than anything. So it doesn't take quite as long for each light to come on. It's going to be minuscule difference, um, but it will make a difference. It's just very, very slightly. So uh, the first light, and I've also switched it around as well. So uh, the highest one, well, it's like they're actually opposite, aren't they, here? But I had to switch out and around. So the highest one is on the right. And on this one, the highest one is on the left. Can you see that? I hope you can see that. It's just like um, mirrored. So our first one is as simple as that. We're just going to go dust repeater, a dust repeater. And then our second one, we can go up a block. And we just need to join it up to there, you see. So we're going to go up a block. We're then going to go this way and across here, like that. Our third one, we're going to go down a block and then back up a block, like this. Oops. So we go underneath that one. If we have it on the same level, it'll hook up to that, which we don't want. And then here, we're just going to go up with some vertical wiring, which is just a block with a torch on top, then a block with a torch on top, and then a block. And we can just join that up like that. Obviously, we need all the redstone signals to be off <laughs> when the, the button isn't lit. So when, the, when there's no redstone signal, we want it to be off. If we had another one on top of here like this, it would be on, and we don't want that. Which is why we've just got a piece of redstone there. For the fourth one, we can go up here, straight into some vertical redstone wiring, like this. Boop. Uh, boop. Uh huh. And then we can do one more, like this. We just need to hook this up, like this. And uh, because that torch is on, we're going to invert it again on the side, like this. And then just have some redstone down to there like that. Can you see that? I hope you guys can follow with this. Maybe I should use different colours so it's a little bit easier. And on the last one again we're going to drop down. And then do some vertical wiring again. Vertical wiring is obviously just the easiest way to do it. Uh, because it requires the least amount of redstone. It's just one block wide isn't it? So that's why you want to try and use it as much as possible. So it doesn't take up quite as much room. And then we can bring it over here. We're going to need another block on top, piece of red uh, redstone thing, but now that's obviously lit up, so we can't have the redstone there. So we're going to have a block on top. Ah. Um, in fact, no, we don't need to. We could just run redstone signal down. Ah, like that. Perfect, and done. So it's a little bit different than that one, but it still works exactly the same. If anything, it's a little bit neater. So now when we... Uh, let's, let's get a lead that comes around the front. Let's just get a lead down... Here, let's just go around that. Okay. Drag some redstone. Make sure it's all working good. Uh-huh. Boop. Just make sure it gets there. So when we push the button, we get... Ah, and we need to load it. <laughs> Don't forget to load it, guys. Otherwise, you're not going to get anything happen. One, two, three, four, five. Ah. So we push the button once. And we get light number one, come on. And then we get light number two, come on. We push it a third time. Light number three, fourth time. Light number four. And light number five. So it works perfectly. I think it looks pretty cool. It's not looking too bad, is it? And uh, we just need somewhere for the host to stand now. So let's work that out. How are we doing for time? We're not doing too bad for time. Going better than I thought, in fact. So let's take that away. We know that the spawn area is somewhere around here now. And should we have the host stand up a little bit higher? We could do, couldn't we? Maybe up on this level. Oh, I've got hiccups. I hate hiccups. They really hurt. I've, I've, I've had hiccups for like three days constantly now. Ever since I uh, had takeaway the other night. Well, last night, in fact. I haven't stopped. It's absolutely horrendous. Okay, so let's have... Um, Let's just have it like this for now, just so we can see. This is where the host can stand. He can see both. He can see both lights. Uh, in fact, we could probably have... No, let's give it like this. Let's give it like this. Uh, we can see the lights. We can see the score. I think it's a sort of perfect place for it. And then if we bring this around here, like this, and bring it around this side, let's just use some diamond blocks for now. I don't like. I don't really like diamond blocks, but for now, I think we're just going to use them just so we know where things are going to go. We can have a button for that side and a button for that side. And each time we press the button, it'll give us a uh, a point to that whatever team that we desire. 
So let's have it like this. And redstone. Redstone repeater. We'll hide all this redstone up later. Um, I know the, the room is very small, but I don't want a huge room. We don't like having huge rooms. It takes a lot of work to sort of build them together and stuff like that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yeah, that'll reach. That'll reach. Just make sure it's going to reach. <laughs> okay, and then this one, we just need to hook up somewhere. We can get we can do this a little bit closer, like so. Drag this all the way back. And then we can think about making it look a little bit more prettier. Get some colours down. I think we're going to use red. Well, I think the red will go really well uh, with a sort of quiz theme. Maybe some black wool as well. Like maybe a black wool floor or something like that. I don't know. Uh, it's difficult. Maybe you guys can set, tweet me some pictures. So uh, if we push this button. Oh no, we need some repeaters in this side. Like this. Like this. And that should reach an that should all be good. Let's just put another one in there just to make sure. It's not going to make any difference. So from here now, we can give one point and it all works. Let's just double check. I don't think I checked this side to make sure that all the lights work on this side. Three. Four. Five. Perfect. It's the start of a really good little game show. I think what we're going to do though, to make it a little bit easier to see everything, is that we're going to put slabs down here instead and now we can we can see a lot easier now can't we and they can see the host a lot easier hi so excellent 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 uh i might think about doing some sort of easy reset i don't know it depends on the other games because the other games might not be able to be reset at all and if the any of the other games can't be at all reset then there's no point having a reset for this one you're not going to play this game twice are you nah, i won't bother with a reset okay so uh let me get some walls in and uh, i shall be right back okay Okay. Alright, so I've got some walls in. I've got some glowstone down there. It looks really, really ugly, I know. Uh, but we'll put carpet on top of it. I just needed a lot of light, you see. And I've got some lights in the roof as well. Now, something that you might want to think about if you're doing this um, yourself <coughs> is the spawn area. Now, we know that the spawn area is about here, in fact. But because I've put a roof on this, if you actually jumped into the world, you could spawn up here, or you could spawn down there, or outside of the red zone or whatever, but you're not going to spawn in there when you've got a roof on it. So I think what we're going to do eventually, I won't do it at the moment, but we'll come here, and we'll work out the exact spawn, which I think is there, and then we'll go up in the sky a little bit, and uh, make a big area, or, or a large square, where you're going to have to fall, your, the game will force you to spawn up there. And then we can have like little channels, little tubes that you fall down into the first game, into the first arena. Um, and that'll be the way that we'll do it, I think. So we'll have like three or, or two tubes, like one or one tube, in fact, we can probably have one tube. And it goes shoop, down here and you land right here. And then the two contestants could go that way and that way. Now, I was thinking it'd be cool to have like a red versus blue theme going on and that'll give a bit of colour to each room as well I think so if we have red on this side I think and blue on this side and they're really good strong colours as well so they'll look really really good and I think if we put blue up here and red up here because this is the winning one if you get to there you know that you've won so that gives us a little bit of colour as well and then we can do it the same with some carpets maybe and get some red and some blue carpets we can sort of keep this theme throughout and I think it'd be really, really cool. So, would they just fall down, would we? Would we just go, bloop, and we'd fall down here? I think so. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. And uh, we need some doors as well. Maybe we can... What's behind here? Nothing's behind this one. And nothing's behind this one. So, this is where the doors will be into the next round. I think that would be pretty cool. And maybe we can have, like, a the host can have a shortcut one or something like that. Or he can jump down. Okay, so we've got red. We've got blue. And then let's have some red carpet um, coming around like this around the sides. Oh, yeah. Something like this. Hup. Whoops. Not up there. There you go. This is the fun bit. This is the fun bit of making it look pretty. I like this bit. Okay, so we'll have that bit. Then we'll have blue like this. So, yeah, remember, guys, in the comment section below, tell me if you've got any ideas of any rounds, any sort of really cool fun ideas I don't know you have to um have to send them in and I shall see what I think if I like them we'll definitely do them that's for sure and there and let's get some black as well I said I wanted a little bit of black and I think uh, that'll really set off the white quartz as well you see 
So I have some black going around this side, like so. And some black going around this side. Oh, that looks really cool. Yeah, definitely the right colour scheme here. Maybe get some black wool in the walls as well or something like that. I have a black one there. We have black going along here. And then we could probably have just some white. Or we could have like round one somewhere, couldn't we? We'd have round one written up here, couldn't we, really? Okay, so let's have... Let's have all the text in orange. I think orange will be a cool colour. Have all the, like, numbers in. So we'll have one here, like this. This is game room number one. There we go. Number one. Yeah, I like that. That's a good number one. Now, what colour should we do at the bottom here? Now, glowstone doesn't look too bad. Looks like very, like a Pokemon sort of style thing, doesn't it? Pokemon Arena. <laughs> um, I don't know. Maybe we could have like B and R. Could we do that? Oops. Can we do B and R? No, we can't. We haven't really got enough room for B and R. Okay, we'll just have some funky colours or something like that. Yeah, that'll do. And some white will Let me just fill this in. I shall be right back. Okay, and yep, it's looking even more Pokemon-like. I don't know why. It just looks like some something of Pokemon, doesn't it? Sort of red and blue together. So uh, I think what we're going to do, though, is we're going to get some iron doors. And we'll hook this up with redstone at some point. I don't really need to show you how to do this. But we'll have, um, like, a button over here, like a maybe a lever. Like this. Like next round, we'll have a sign that says uh, "Next." Oops, round doors, and then when you flick that lever, those doors will. Open. That'll just be a simple redstone line. I don't need to show you that. <laughs> if you don't know how to do that, then it's probably not best that you're going to build your own to build your own um, uh, game show because you need a little a, a little bit of redstone knowledge. Uh, if you want to do some redstone based stuff. But I think we can make this look a little bit prettier. I think we can do some stuff in here. Uh, just sort of improve the general look of it. Put some stairs in. In some places. Oops. Maybe some upside down ones like this. Does it still look good from this side? We can still see everything. Yep, yeah, we can still see everything. I don't really like that there though. Eh. Like this. Um, let's have a stair. And a slab there. They sort of see each other. They in ah, enemies. Um, I want something on the walls. I don't know what. Maybe some stairs. Oops. Can't put that there. There we go. Oh, have I done them upside down? Yeah, I have. <laughs> Just a little bit of detail. Some blocks here and there. Ah, damn upside down ones. And we want it here. Ah, ah, ah. Like that. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It just gives a little bit of shape to it, doesn't it? Have one there. Yeah. Have one upside down there. Eh, no. I don't like that one. Um, I wanted them going up here. Oops. Whoa. I didn't want to do that. Uh, do it like this. That doesn't look too bad, yeah. Have it going up there. And I know we've just covered up that blue. But we can uh, re-put that in. Maybe, like, whoops, no, not, not those, there, and these, blue, red, we just have to make sure that we can still, oops, that we can still see the lights as with the host, there, and, uh, we need to go down here, there, and there, no, uh. There we go. Can we still see all the lights? That still looks good. Yeah, it still looks good. Oh, we replace these with blue and red. That'll be much better, won't it? There we go. Button there and button there. And get the carpets back again. Just clear my inventory, get a load of space again. That, that and black. We'll have red, blue and black. There we go. Ha! Ah, that's pretty damn cool. It's light enough. We can see everything. We can see what round we're on. Obviously, we're going to know it's round one anyway. <laughs> Uh, I'm still not happy. Um, I think everything looks a little bit flat still. I know we're probably running over time on the first episode, but uh, it just looks a little bit flat, a little bit boring. Um, maybe we can have something on the walls here. Uh, maybe a B and an R on the walls or something like that. Uh, if we get that and that. And we go. Oh, 
Did Skype just chat to me? No, I don't think so. I'm all alone. How high can we go? If we went there, and there. I think that would be the best. Uh, eh, course block. Like this. Okay, I don't think the first episode has gone too bad. I think we've sort of, we've got a lot done. A lot more than I thought we were going to get done on the first episode. I have probably run way, way over time, like I always do. B, four in from that side. And we needed an R. And how wide is this? I don't know, four blocks wide. Um, could have done one more for evenness, couldn't we? Let's do that. Hup, there, there, there. There, there, and there. Put these quartz in here. Yeah, it looks a much better B as well, doesn't it? Then we have a red one there. How high did I go? Up to two at the top. Okay, beautiful numbers. There and there. We'll come along here. Down here. Up here. That should be a good R, shouldn't it? That looks like an R. Yeah, that looks like an R. B and R. I like that. Definitely looks good. I like this room. Maybe we can have a little bit more detail around the top here. The roof looks a bit, a bit flat. So if we have some upside down stairs that come around here. I like the quartz. So the quartz looks really good. I have used snow on the roof there. Um, as snow sort of has a connected texture. It doesn't look like it's all tiles. Quartz looks a little bit tiled. So I use snow on the roof as it's still white. My pads just ran out of battery. Hopefully we've got enough just to finish off the episode with. Come on. Breathe pad. Live. You know you want to finish the episode. And then I shall put you on charge. <laughs> there. And there. And then along here. To there. Uh, we can probably do upside down ones. Like that. Uh, no, I don't like that, actually. I prefer it that way. But we'll put one in the middle. Like that. Excellent. I don't think we need to do them around the floors. But that, lo that looks a little bit better. That looks a little bit more interesting. And maybe we can have some colours on the roof as well. Um... Yeah, if we keep this colour tone all the way through, I think it'll give a really good theme to the world, won't it? It'll, it'll make it feel like a proper game show. Red versus blue is always the colours that you do, isn't it, when there's two different teams. There we go. And there we go. And maybe we'll use black in the middle for the middle too. Uh, black. Nope, that's grey. Black. Got a dog barking. I can hear a dog barking. And black in the middle here. Like this. Black is sort of the neutral. Maybe we should make that number one black. What do you think? I think that might be a good idea, actually. Instead of orange. There we go. Um, I sort of like the orange, to be fair. I don't know why. I just like the orange. Yeah. We'll change that back to orange. 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 Uh, what if I done it there? Nope, definitely not. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. Okay, so this is room one done. Red versus blue. Blue versus red. Really nice colour tones. I think it looks really nice. It looks like a nice room. Um, so yeah. We're going to leave episode one there, guys. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And uh, if you've got any ideas for any other sort of game rooms that we can do, tell me in the comment section below, and we shall see what we do next episode. Bye!